I need a stallion, needs be on Megan. I need a scissor, cut her like paper. I need a cougar, ways of the taper. Yeah. I need a Georgia, need a Janae. I need more money to come to my place. I want a Doja, K by the pound. I need a Lizzo to put that shit down. I need a Ari, let me serenade. Walking out of summer, so far. What's up, Judy fam, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is a little different. I know I look freaking crazy. <laughs> Like, I, I look absolutely insane. But, as you can tell by the title, this video is super impulsive. So, I was laying in bed and I was watching some Arnold Armand videos, which is probably what caused this impulse. But I've also been wanting to get back on to my YouTube grind and being back consistent. So, that's what brings us to this video of why I'm in my wood cap. So, um, I'm doing a very impulsive get ready with me. Um, so I took my shower, well, I wore this in the shower, um, and I'm trying to, like, speak kind of quiet, listening, before my camera cut out, I'm going to sleep, so I'm trying to be as quiet as I can be, my cap is mostly dry, I'm not going to do a cap method because it's kind of dragging it, but, um, I am putting my green wig on, um, as y'all probably saw from the thumbnail, but, um, yeah, I'm doing a very impulsive get ready with me. <laughs> My boyfriend just got home and he's like gonna wonder what the hell is going on. But yeah, this is super impulsive and I had no plan for this, but I wanted to get a video up for tomorrow. Well today, since it is 12:13 in the morning, and this is probably the most impulsive thing I've done since buying clothes at 1 a.m. But yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to cut the rest of my cap off and then throw my wig on, well, glue it down, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you, well, after the wig is installed and everything, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the video, well, in the morning for the rest of the video, because, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to do like a whole get ready, but I'm already in my PJs, I'm wearing a Riverdale shirt myself an art honorary river vixen so take that Cheryl um <laughs> yo what is wrong with me? I don't know why I'm acting like so crazy I don't know what it is but um yeah anyways this video is super impulsive like I don't even know what I'm doing right now. but um yeah let's just go ahead and get on into the video Now that I have the wig on, I've been wanting to put this wig on again for so long. As y'all know, those who are um, already subscribed, um, my sister makes uh, all of my wigs for me, like 99.999% of my wigs are made by my sister. Um, this one is my birthday here from last year, and um, I've really been wanting to put it back on, so I figure, 
why not since we're being impulsive I had already had it out to put it back on but I'm just using the viewfinder as my mirror I was trying to use my um bathroom vanity as my mirror but that wasn't gonna work out and I want you guys to actually be able to see what I'm doing I'm still a beginner at this wig stuff so like in no way am I am I like a professional or anything I'm still learning um but y'all should definitely go and check out my sister's channel She's been making wigs, I think, for three years now. Or it could be longer than that, or less than that. But she's progressed in such like a short time span. Like, it's crazy. But she is really, really good at what she does. I need more glue on my sideburns and on this side. So since I need like a whole bunch on this side, I'm just gonna go ape shit. I'm trying to be careful not to get it in my sideburns because taking glue out your sideburns sucks. But You know, sometimes it happens. You just gotta live with what it is. Okay. I am gonna be tying this down. I don't know where the elastic band is, so I'm gonna have to tie it down with a hair tie, which really isn't. I was just taking off the wig glue from the top. It really isn't the best thing to tie your hair down with but um i don't know where the elastic band is it's probably downstairs and i don't feel like going downstairs so there's that so i will see you guys when uh, the wig is tied down and so this is how you know this video is impulsive because i was just gonna keep this wig straight but now I'm thinking when I wake up tomorrow, I might throw some waves in it. I've never done um, the waver like on my head before. I've always done it on the um, wig head on a wig stand. So well, that's going to be different. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like putting waves in it. Waves were definitely like my favorite style still are my favorite style. Look how good this blends. Obviously, like, it don't look that great right now, but like, this is scalp. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Like, this is my hair. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna just take this above my eyebrows up close. If not, that's gonna hurt my eyes in the morning. But, um, we are tying down this hair. If I gotta re-glue my air tabs tomorrow morning, I'll just do it, cause those pop up, like, Oh my god. They be playing like real games out here. That's the only thing I hate about frontal wigs. I feel like that's everybody's problem. I'm gonna turn y'all that way. We're not so cramped. I feel like that's everyone's problem with frontal wigs is that it's, it's just the ear tap. I'm so happy to have this wig back on. Now I just have to find my bonnet in my room and then I can go to bed. But um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Love y'all. So we are getting into waving the hair now. Um, I got this waver from Target. This is the bedhead um, waver. I want to get the smaller one. Wow, my heat is mad. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so I don't burn myself. Do we get a wave? Not really. Okay. With this waiver, it did take, you know, some practice. But the problem is that this piece is a little too 
sticky thick so I have to separate This is the hair so far. It's coming out really good for me doing this on my head. I usually like do this on a mannequin head. As I said last night, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Yeah, I usually do this on a mannequin head, but like it's coming out so good. I'm happy it's actually coming out good. Cause girl, your finger, your thumb be getting tired. I love this hair. I forgot how much I love this hair. Um, in case you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, this is my birthday hair from last year. I said that earlier in the video. Um, it is from Y Wigs. If you guys want, like, an update about how the hair is doing, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I will, um, do that for y'all. I'll also post a poll on my Instagram stories for you guys to see. Well, for you guys to go ahead and vote on that poll. That way I know like, if it's definitely something y'all are down to check out. And yeah, we at the top now, baby. I know I say I'm at the top, but like, this hair is so freaking dense. I mean, you know, that's a good thing though, because this was originally blonde hair. Um, I will link, like I'll do a little eye card of um, the watercolor video I did with this hair. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, and I'll also try and link it in the description box. I'm trying to get this video up by 6 tonight, so hopefully things go my way. And yeah, I'm just gonna get on with the hair. One side down, y'all. Now I gotta do this side, and then I gotta go in and finesse these little flyaways and stuff. And then we're gonna move on to the makeup, yo. <laughs> like, I'm so. Ugh. 
I don't know. I feel like so like in a daze right now. Like, I don't know if I'm tired or what it is. It's probably just, you know, quarantine getting to me and stuff, but. You know how like you just feel tired, but you're not tired? Like that's how I feel right now, low key. Not like enough to stop filming because I'm gonna film my video, but I just feel like I wanna take a nap. <laughs> like that's all it is. I just feel like I wanna take a nap. Okay, let me pull this out before I separate it. I'm not gonna film this side just cause it's repetitive. So I will see you guys after this side is done and after I do, well after I finesse the rest of my hair cause yeah. And I will get started with makeup, which is gonna be like really simple. It's not gonna be anything like super, in depth or anything it's gonna be really simple I'm gonna do this look that I saw on um, Instagram by cut creaser so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that look and okay so off camera I did go ahead and do my brows and carve them out um just cuz I still want to meet my goal of getting this video up at 6 and if I diligently edit, <laughs> then I can meet that goal. I already primed and everything. So first I'm just going to conceal. And I'm using the e.l.f. 6 Nail Camel Concealer in Deep Chestnut first. I'm also using my viewfinder as a mirror, so that's why I keep like talking up there instead of down here. <laughs> I just realized I didn't tell you guys what I used for primer today. For primer today, I used the e.l.f. Luminous um, Putty Primer around this area, well, here, here, and above my lip, my top lip. And for the rest of my face, I used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love both of those primers, so yeah. Okay, so next. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, and this is Deep Olive from Elf. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and contour. Um, and I'm using the term contour very loosely. Um, because I realize I don't really contour anymore. I kind of don't like the super contoured look anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Black Radiance, um, Black Radiance Black Opal, I'm sorry. Um, True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Sweet Mocha. And I'm gonna use that on my cheekbones and my forehead. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my foundation, and this is the Pure 4-in-1 
Love Your Selfie Foundation and Concealer. And I use the shade DG6. I can't wait to get a tan. I can't wait to go outside. I can have some melanin back. I would say I took out like a pump and a quarter. I'm using this everywhere. I don't have concealer. Um, sometimes I go over the parts that I have concealer on. And that's because sometimes I feel like my highlight is a little too too bright. So I do take that down. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. Contour. I don't really um, do it to get like a more pinched or snatched look. I kind of just do it um, to bring my nose back. Because sometimes my, um, when I take pictures, my nose goes like missing. And it's like, I got a nose, boo. I do have more foundation on the back of my hand, so. This lighting is not the best, but I promise you guys, I do match. Just feel like both lights are very warm, so. Okay, so. I did go ahead and set everything and I bronzed off of camera, because. I forgot how you guys facing this thing this way. The most important, the most important, the most important part of this look is the eye. So I will put a picture up of what hers looks like versus what mine is going to look like. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Bronzer as my mirror. And I'm just going to start. Okay, well, this is the finished look. I'm surprised it came out kind of good. Like, am I dragging it? It came out kind of good. It didn't come out exactly like hers. But I'm on my phone right now. My camera died. So that's why I'm recording on my phone. But um, it came out kind of good. I'm really surprised. Um, but yeah, I do like how it came out. Um, I'm gonna snap some pictures for my thumbnail for the vlog. Um, not vlog, well, this impromptu get ready with me that I did. If you guys enjoyed the video in all of its shambles, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. That would help me a lot. Um, I would really love to get to like. 500 my like big goal is 1k but like if I could get to 500 subscribers I would get to but um <laughs> yeah subscribe please join Chibi family I love y'all so much and I will see you guys next week I'm not gonna get this video up by 6 I already know that because it is currently 5.43 so I'm definitely gonna try for 6.30 I think I could do that 6.30, 6.45 hopefully I can get this video up I love y'all so so much, thank you so much for joining me bye